One of the things to remember is that we have a liver, and our liver is designed to detoxify things. So within moderation, I mean, we have been exposed for eons to chemicals that potentially can hurt us, whether it's you know, smoke from campfires or whether it's just different products we eat from plants that actually have low levels of toxins in them. So we're designed to detoxify things. What we're not designed to do, however, is to try and detoxify thousands of chemicals every day. Some of them quite persistent and designed to be persistent, to not be easy to break down. So if we can minimize what we're taking in, inhaling, putting on our skin, eating, then we allow our body to do the work it needs to do um, and at the same time try and stay healthy. What I tell the public all the time about how maybe to live a healthier life would be the first is moderation. That's the absolute first. That is moderate what you eat. Moderate, for example, how much seafood, especially long-lived seafood, that you eat. Um, personal care products, things like how much sunscreen do you really need? Do you need to put sunscreen in? Just go to date to go to the go to the office today? The answer is no. So absolute no's. I don't eat freshwater fish. There's too much in them. Um, I think that there is real concern about microwaving and plastic. That's a no. Non-stick pans probably should minimize that. There's other ways of cooking, stainless steel, cast iron, etc. that's probably better for you. Of course, the reason I say moderation is that there's things you can get from mosquitoes and you can get skin cancer. So you use it appropriately, but if it's not appropriate, you don't need to be using it. The other point, for example, is you don't need to be spraying large numbers of pesticides around your home, especially if you have children. Yes, we all are concerned with having a healthy environment. But having a house full of pesticides is not a healthy environment. You may not see bugs, but children as well as adults will pick up those chemicals. Those chemicals are persistent. So I think it's important that people read the containers. If those containers say that they're going to be toxic to you or children or whatever, then you should really think about how much you're going to use them in your home. What products should we be looking for? Um, the ones, of course, that people are, are very familiar with are things like BPA, bisphenol A. This is a plasticizer. Um, phthalates, P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E, phthalates. Phthalates are chemical stabilizing agents, and quite honestly, almost anything that has odor or color to it, hand creams, shampoos, soaps, etc., cetera, um, have phthalates in them. They're, they're there. You probably want to minimize your exposure to those. Um, there are musk xylenes in a lot of the perfumes we know actually have the parabens, some of the parabens are not great for you, which are found in sunscreens. Plastic bottles, not only is it a general pollution of plastic, but plastic bottles also have, they leach plasticizers. The one that's most commonly known is this bisphenol A, which is estrogenic. It clearly is estrogenic. We know that. And it, it has the potential to cause health concerns.